Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today, we will be rating every player's performance from Tottenham Hotspur's incredible late, late 3-2 win over Leicester City at the KP in the Premier League to lift the Lily Whites to fifth, courtesy of a Harry Kane left-footed goal and two incredible goals at the death of the game from Steven Bergwijn to give Tottenham all three points. We're going to start with goalkeeper and captain Hugo Lloris. Hugo Lloris, we're giving him a solid eight. Eight. Good saves from him. It was a point and um, r right before halftime, I think it was Madison. Madison yes. took a long range shot. P um, Pierre. Lloris with the brilliant save. Incredible save. I did see that. Um, But uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to really watch a lot of the game. I saw most of the second half and about 20 minutes of the first half. Um, so I'm going to give Lloris a 7.5 based on what I saw. Um, I didn't get to see that great save, but based on the pictures I saw, it was pretty incredible. Right wing back, Emerson Royale. Five. Yeah, um, I'm not going to rate him because I only saw like 15 minutes of him and I thought he was pretty good, but not enough time to rate him. Um, you can tell. <laughs> I'm just kidding, not a five. Maybe six. six. I'll say six. He did go off um, in the 46 minute. Um, for he a... just didn't look good today. Yeah. I have to say. He did go off for an, um, a vital, vital player to come on the pitch yeah. in Matt Doherty. We'll rate him later on. Moving on, center backs. Jaffet Tanganga. Now, Seven. After the games he's had, I thought he was going to be absolutely woeful. I did not want to see him in the starting 11, but he had a he, good performance. He was good I'm today. I'm going to seven as well. He was pretty, pretty good today. And he put he, a good effort on trying to yeah. um, block Madison's shot. Yeah, definitely. And it was just a very, very good performance from Jaffa Tanganga compared to what he's had to play against Chelsea both times, against Morecambe, just mistakes, mistakes. Finally, he gets a good performance. Davinson Sanchez, the middle center back. 7.5. Uh, I'm going to give him a 7.5 as well. He was, Pretty well, good. I think in the late stages, he was the only reason we didn't concede a lot yeah. of the goals. Um, a lot of the attacks that they had on, Sanchez would just come in and clean up, and he's got that pace so he can run fast. Ben Davies, left-sided center back. 7. I'm going to give him a 7 as well. He was pretty good pretty today. Pretty solid. Didn't do as much. Nowhere near, not yeah. really as much as that. Nowhere, no, yeah, not as he, was, he did his job. Solid yeah. at the back. Yeah, did very well. decent, pretty good performance from Davies. Sergio Reguilón, left wing back, back in the five. side 7. from 5. injury. I'd give him a 7.5 as well. I thought this he looked, was... He's had some not very good performances recently. This is a huge burst yeah. of great performance. Great from performance him. from him. And I did not expect this from him. Yeah, like you said, the couple of pretty poor performances that he's had recently, this was a huge, huge game for him to perform well in. Uh, moving into midfield, Ollie Skip. 7.5. Okay, uh, I'm going to rate him a 7.5 as well. He was very good today. He was decent, pretty um, good. In the first 20 minutes I saw, he was lively, getting on the ball a lot. Made and team, then, that man running back and forth yeah. every second. Um, at times, I feel like when he got the ball on the side, he could have made a couple better decisions, a couple yeah. instances where he didn't need to cross the ball, could have waited for Doc to come in because he did a good, had a good performance. But regardless, we won the game. Ollie Skip did great. And, um, yeah, moving on to the next center midfielder, pierre Emile Hoybier. Eight. 8.5. He was disgustingly good yep. today. So, so if good. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have won that <laughs> crucial interception. That's nice interception. Cru crucial, crucial block at the end to block Harvey Barnes' um, strike. That would have been the winning goal from him, from Harvey Barnes. But Hoybier sprinted Harvey back. Harvey Barnes, you mean James Madison. It was Harvey Barnes. Oh, well, that took yeah, the shot, yeah. yeah. And, um... Yeah, you know, that was an Harvey Barnes would have completely finished off the game there, but Hoybier ran back, sprinted, and just got the touch that he needed on the ball to completely redirect Great the shot. Great sliding tackle. Incredible. Harry Winks is up next. Eight. Eight. Brilliant long balls, especially really for ball. Harry Kane's but, Yeah, uh, really ball. good ball. He was pretty lively throughout the game, um, always there Did and there Did come off for Gio. Did come off for Gio in the 74th minute. After getting assist, though, so it was a good run out for the English midfielder. Moving into the forwards, Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora, I'm going to give him a 7. 6.75. From what I saw, he wasn't in the game as much as he could. He was our quiet, most, other than Emerson, our quietest player who yeah. started. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he was incredible, incredible, 
But he did some stuff. He didn't do. He didn't really make any. He mistakes. fought for the ball. He did. Yeah. He won. It's, he had some good interceptions. Mm -hmm. Uh, some good dribbles. Yeah. Pretty good. And then last in the starting eleven, Mr. Harry Edward Kane, goal and an assist nine. against his favorite team, Leicester. I'm gonna give him an eight point seven five. I'm giving him a nine. Got the goal, got the assist. Exceptional goal. And just in general, passing, dribbling, positioning. He's been he was incredible today. Although he probably should have scored that go that um yeah. shot that he Definitely. skied about seventeen yards over the bar. Um I know he was clear on goal. I didn't actually see the chance, but I know he was clear on goal there. So probably should have done better. But hey, we won the game. We're gonna move into the substitutes, starting with the earliest one, Matt Doherty. 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 Whatever. <laughs> eight. Um I'm moving eight point yeah, two eight, five. Eight point two five. He was really good. Those first two minutes he came on, he had like maybe three or four one twos in a row with Kane. And then got the assist for Steven Bergwine's first goal. We'll go into Steven Bergwine later. Don't worry, we're gonna have a full party over him. But Doherty, finally, Conte realizes that he doesn't need to play the inverted left with inverted wing back system all the time because Doherty's so much better on the right side than he is on the left side. It's not even a, a you know, a competition. He was so clear today. So much better than any other player. Than, you know, he was so much better than Emerson today, who really didn't have a good day today. Uh, center midfield. Gio LaCelso, 74 minutes, came on. Give him 6.75. Seven. I give him a 7. Did mess up one pass that could have led to a um, led to a counter, but other than that, he was very good today. Yeah, he was pretty good. He was yep. solid. He didn't do too bad. Got some good passes in. He was in. pretty quiet. I didn't see much yeah. of him at all for like the 15 minutes yeah. he was on. And then the man, the myth, the legend. Well, he was only on for 11 minutes, so we can't really rate him, but Steven Bergwijn did all right. He did all right. Yeah. Not... That, except for the two goals that he scored in the 90 plus 6th and 90 plus 7th minute. Oh, baby, he's getting a good 10. He is getting a 10 from me. Incredible, incredible from Steven Bergwijn to come on. Really good awareness to get right on the ball off of Doherty's <clears throat> um, header in the late stages of the game for the first goal. And then the second goal, a beautiful run. That gets around a... Schmeichel, and that ball was, that was so, so close from going out. Yeah, I was like... Get going, going, going. I felt I was like, is that going to go in? Is that going to go in? He was of course so, it goes off the post. So oh, close. It but Steven Bergwijn won it for Tottenham Hotspur. A huge win for the North London side and for the I Dutch. I still can't win. believe my eyes, my ears, or my nose. I can't, yeah, my I, mouth I, I is gone. My, my voice is yeah, gone. My throat um, hurts so much. But Steven Bergwijn, to think, he was on the way out early this week. We were I actually were knocking on the door for him. <clears throat> and he's just... Come in and done that. How? <laughs> How? How has he done that? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. From Steven Bergwijn. I don't know how we've won it. But my God. Um, next up is Chelsea. This is going to be an incredible confidence point for the, the players out there. Because this is going to be where everything means it. We have to go into that game with confidence. Keep our unbeaten streak in the Premier League alive. Let's go for the Champions League spots. And yeah, um, that's going to be it for our player ratings. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like button for more content, follow our socials. They're all down in the link in the uh, uh, description below. All the links are down there. Comment down below who your man of the match is. Pretty obvious. And until next time. Come on, you Spurs!